All right, guys, Aaron with Elite Water Sports. And guess what? You are ready to go out and learn how to retrieve your board in deep water, okay? What we advise you to do is that although it's knee deep water, try to body drag back to your board as much as possible. Don't go walking across the mud, getting over to it or the sandbar, okay? So if the board's not out or not near you, body drag to it, okay? Now what happens if you're in deep water and your board is upwind from you? You're not actually going to be able to body drag upwind. I mean, as efficient or as long as you've ever kiteboarded, 14, 15 years, doesn't matter how long you've kiteboarded for, you're not gonna be able to body drag very efficiently upwind, okay? So the whole point of this is to be able to stay in one spot going back and forth, not losing too much ground so that your board, look at it, eventually drifts down to you, okay? So that's the name of the game. Now, how do we do that? We wanna make sure that we angle our body so that we're just slightly steering ourselves upwind, mostly crosswind. If we try too hard to go upwind, we'll actually start drifting downwind, okay? We'll lose ground, okay? Now, as you get to the very end of your body drag, okay, what you wanna do is take it really, really, really easy to bring that kite up to 12 o'clock, and you may actually wanna put a little bit of input of swimming backwards so that you don't lose too much ground, okay? You'll slightly send the kite back in the new direction, and you'll actually, if you see the board, don't go straight at it. If you can go upwind from it, go ahead and do that instead of, you know, really, really like going straight at it. And that way, worst case scenario, you end up upwind from your board. Well, it's easy to get back to it at that point, okay? Now, if you find yourself slightly out of reach from your board, say your board's upwind from you, if you can't reach your board, okay, keep going, keep body dragging past it, and then turn back around. And sure enough, it'll be in your line sight and you'll end up right next to it, okay? It's usually when people are really, really close, their students are really close to the board and they reach out and guess what happens? They lose control of the, the kite, pulls them way away from the board and now they're starting all over, okay? So we advise just to go past your board then back to it so that you run over top of it. So grabbing that board and guess what? You've already learned how to body drag with the board. Just stabilize yourself, get the board back around in front of you and putting the board on and going for your ride again.